three-dimensional technology is changing the lives of Australian designers, taking their ideas from the computer screen and turning them into reality. And the possibilities are endless, from the creation of small spare parts to customised electric guitars, even human skin and cells. Additive manufacturing machines can print just about anything. 3D printing technology works uh, by creating products in layers. And these layers can be as thin as 0.1 millimetre, so 10 layers to a millimetre. And gradually parts are grown. So in the past we would have to generally create a mould and put material in it. So the cost of that mould was quite high, so if you designed something you had to create a lot of them in order to justify the cost of the mould. Additive manufacturing is where we can individually create each product one at a time. So it sort of changes the game in terms of mass, mass production, moving it towards mass customization. I did this just for fun. I wanted to see, you know, is it possible to make a real electric guitar? In a traditional machining of wood, you couldn't make the shapes, the aesthetics that I can achieve with 3D printing. And that's what's amazing. You can do stuff that almost seems impossible, but with this technology, you can make it. I think that we've only really just to be begun to see with this sort of collection here what's, what's possible and how far that can go. On a really uh, a low cost printer, probably less than $1,500, and I've printed um, parts that I'm using in my garden and, and they're working perfectly. In probably 10 years, 10 or 20 years time, we wouldn't recognise the, the, the kind of world that we'll be in, that, that we'll be surrounded by objects that, um, that will make our world of today probably look as, as primitive as, as the age of steam engines and traction engines, honestly. The Queensland College of Art is implementing this technology from day one of the Bachelor of Digital Media degree, making it the first institution in the country to do so. At QCA we've taken a very radical move of moving 3D printing into the first year. It is the first process that our students learn and as far as I'm aware that's the first country around the world to do that. In fact most people leave it till the postgrads. We feel that we need to rewrite the rule book of manufacturing and in order to do that we need to get the digital natives at it. We're bringing back together computer science, digital fabrication and human interaction so students on this course will be at the forefront of, um, of that new market that's emerging.